بل هم اضل ناو الله سبحانه وتعالى gave that free will and he said الذي خلق الموت والحياة ليبلوكم ايكم احسن عملا الله has created you and he created life and he created death and then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent you on this planet and he gave you certain years to live and he created circumstances which fit on your personality and then he want to seize and he want to look and judge you know how you react how you live and how you, what you do so basically we are in the time of you know test and time of judgment and then based on our life allah subhanahu wa ta'ala going to reward us you know imma you know ilal jannah or ilal nar either person will go to jannah or paradise or will be thrown into hellfire that's up to a person it is in your own hand that farishton se behtar hai insaan banna farishton se behtar hai insaan banna magar isme padti hai mehnat zyada you know it is possible for you to become a real righteous person that the angels come and shake your hand yes it is possible for you to become a person that whatever you say whatever you bring from your tongue allah will make it happen reality law aqsamu ala allah la abarra allah subhanahu wa ta'ala become his tongue become his hand become his leg which mean allah subhanahu wa ta'ala you know will become so close to a person that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala making himself as if his leg his hand his tongue in hadith in bukhari rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam said that in the day of judgment allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, will judge people and person will come to allah and allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will talk to him and he will say oh my slave and servant i was sick and you did not you know visit me and the person will say oh allah you are lord you are creator how can you be sick and allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will say i was hungry and you did not feed me ya allah you are the creator you are the lord of the world how can you be you know hungry then allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said my such and such a slave was hungry and you did not feed him my such and such slave was sick and you did not visit him inna lillahi ibadun prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said allah has some people that if they ask loan from somebody nobody will loan them why because if a poor person goes and he ask 10000 dollar from you would you give him a poor person no you will say well how he is going to return it's an secure loan plus you know it depend whom you talking to if you if you have a good status on dunya and you have good businessman and and you know the loan will be secure and a person call yes loan will be given to you if you have good credit you will have the loan but if uh, you know your credit is not that good and you don't make money and you 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 know you are under 300 <coughs> credit score no one will give you a penny nobody will give you a, a, a apartment to rent so prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said allah has some slaves and servants some people in dunya if they ask anybody to loan nobody will loan them if they go and make a shifa'a if they intercede a person nobody will even care of their shifa'a you know nobody will even pay attention they have no saying in the society 
but they are so important to Allah if they ask Allah anything Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will not turn them down whatever they ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so that means righteousness uplift the person okay and I don't want to share with you the whole story of you know um, one of the great tabi who was alive in the time of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam and his name is Awais al-Yamani and we call normally Awais Karni and Awais al-Yamani was not a Sahabi he did not met with Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam but he got a status that Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam advised Umar ibn Khattab radiallahu anhu Umar he asked Umar he said I think I hope you are going to meet him and if you do meet him then you say my salam to Awais and then tell him that I love him and tell him that Allah also love him and tell him that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will forgive a big number of people because of his dua so ask him to make dua for my ummah who's asking Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa asking Awais Karni was not even a sahabi sending salam to him and asking him to make dua for my ummah if he raises his hand Allah will forgive a big number al jamal ghafir so all what I got all what we learn today <coughs> that a person can be in spirituality spirituality so high in the level and person can be very very wrong and aswal is safali you know the righteous will be in Jannatul Firdaus, Jannatul A'la and the hypocrite will be you know Darkil Asfal Ibn Nar, the lowest level of hellfire both people live in the same house in the same society in the same city one is righteous the other is not Abu Lahab and Hamza and Abbas same family Abu Talib Abdul Uzza same family you know so the point is that one person goes up in high level the other person goes down in a very very low level it's up to us we got free will we have option to choose and pick and if we do not take advantage of Quran and the Sunnah and you do, we do not utilize the knowledge Allah has given us and we do not practice and do not take our deen seriously then slowly and surely we will lose our deen. <laughs>